CDL Combination Vehicles Practice Test 3 24 Questions Question 1. What is the first step in coupling a tractor semi-trailer? Secure the tractor. Inspect the fifth wheel. Check the trailer's height. Connect all airlines to the trailer. The correct answer is Inspect the fifth wheel. Question 2. To prevent a rollover while driving a combination vehicle, the two most important things are Keeping cargo near the center of the vehicle and driving slowly on turns. Keeping cargo near the ground and driving slowly around turns. Keeping cargo near the ground and driving slowly on the highway. Keeping cargo near the center of the vehicle and driving slowly on the highway. The correct answer is Keeping cargo near the ground and driving slowly around turns. Question 3 Which of the following is most likely to roll over? The rear trailer of a double The front trailer of a double The middle trailer of a triple The rear trailer of a triple The correct answer is The rear trailer of a triple Question 4 If you use the trailer hand valve while driving It might cause the vehicle to start moving too quickly You might scare someone by causing a noise You might make the trailer skid All of the above could happen The correct answer is You might make the trailer skid. Question 5 Which of the following is not a purpose of the emergency airline? To control a combination vehicle's emergency brakes. To supply air to the trailer's air tanks. To supply air to relay valves that help the foot brake operate more quickly. To cause the trailer emergency brakes to be applied if the emergency airline loses pressure. The correct answer is To supply air to relay valves that help the foot brake operate more quickly. Question 6 Which of the following is not true about an anti lock braking system, ABS? You will find it on all tractors built after March 1998. It is a service in addition to your normal brakes. It only activates if your wheels are in danger of locking up. It increases your normal braking ability. The correct answer is It increases your normal braking ability. Question 7. Which of the following types of vehicle gets stuck on railroad crossings most often? Single axle tractors pulling a long trailer with its landing gear set for a tandem axle tractor. Moving vans. Car carriers. All of the above. The correct answer is. All of the above. Question 8. Where would you find the shutoff valves? In the rear of the tractor. In the front of a trailer. In the rear of a trailer. In the front of the tractor. The correct answer is In the rear of a trailer. Question 9. What is the best way to test the trailer's service brakes? Pull forward very quickly, then apply the trailer brakes with your hand control. Accelerate to the maximum speed possible in a parking lot, then apply the trailer brakes. 
pull forward very slowly, then apply the trailer brakes with your hand control. Try putting the handbrake on when you are on a deserted road. The correct answer is Pull forward very slowly, then apply the trailer brakes with your hand control. Question 10 During a walk around inspection of a combination vehicle, you should check to make sure that the kingpin is not damaged, the landing gear is fully raised, all locking pins are present and locked in place. All of the above are true. The correct answer is All of the above are true. Question 11 To straighten out a jackknifing trailer, should you apply your hand brake? No, because the brakes on the trailer wheels are what caused the skid to begin with. Yes, because the hand brake may not stop the skid but it will reduce the risk of a rollover. It depends on how fast you were going to begin with. Apply the handbrake if you are speeding. Yes, because the handbrake will help you get out of the skid. The correct answer is No. Because the brakes on the trailer wheels are what caused the skid to begin with. Question 12. Which of the following is not part of testing the tractor protection valve? Pressing the brake pedal several times to release air. Pulling forward slowly, then applying the trailer brakes. Shutting off the engine. Charging the trailer's air brake system first. The correct answer is Pulling forward slowly, then applying the trailer brakes. Question 13 Which of the following is the definition of if tracking? Stopping for too long on brakes and getting off the track of your original schedule. How the rear wheels are more likely to leave the roadside or track. What happens when both the front wheels and the rear wheels leave the roadway in an accident? How the rear wheels follow a different track than the front wheels in a turn? The correct answer is How the rear wheels follow a different track than the front wheels in a turn? Question 14 when parking a vehicle that does not have spring brakes, you should use chocks to stop the trailer from jackknifing, to help the trailer go more quickly, to keep the trailer from of tracking so much, to keep the trailer from moving. The correct answer is to keep the trailer from moving. Question 15. Which of the following controls air in the service line? The trailer hand brake. Neither the hand brake nor the foot brake. Both the hand brake and the foot brake. The foot brake. The correct answer is both the hand brake and the foot brake. Question 16. Which of the following is not part of checking that air is flowing to all trailers? Pressing the pedal several times to lower the air pressure. Pushing in the red trailer air supply knob. Going to the rear of the rig. Opening the emergency line shutoff valve. The correct answer is Pressing the pedal several times to lower the air pressure. Question 17. While uncoupling, what should you do after you unlock the fifth wheel? Position your rig. 
pull the tractor forward so that it is partially clear of the trailer. Lower your landing gear. Disconnect your airlines. The correct answer is Pull the tractor forward so that it is partially clear of the trailer. Question 18. Which of the following is not a way to tell if your trailer is equipped with an anti-lock braking system, ABS? The letters ABS are on the left side of the steering wheel. It has yellow ABS malfunction lamps. You can see wheel speed sensor wires coming from the back of the brakes. It was built after March 1, 1998. The correct answer is The letters ABS are on the left side of the steering wheel. Question 19 Which of the following is not part of inspecting the coupling? Checking that the fifth wheel jaws have closed on the correct part of the kingpin? Checking that the locking lever is in the correct lock position? Driving a few feet to test that it is connected correctly. Checking that there is no space between the upper and lower fifth wheel. The correct answer is Driving a few feet to test that it is connected correctly. Question 20 After coupling how much space should there be between the lower and upper fifth wheel? 5 feet None 1 foot 24 to 36 inches The correct answer is None Question 21 which of the following could happen if you try to couple when the trailer is too high? It might not couple correctly. The tractor could roll away. You could damage the trailer nose. The tractor might strike and damage the trailer. The correct answer is It might not couple correctly. Question 22. Which of the following should you do if you want to back into a curved path on the driver's side? First, check your path carefully, by getting out and walking around the vehicle. Drive slowly while you are backing. Use your mirrors on both sides. Do all of the above. The correct answer is Do all of the above. Question 23 When you check the lower fifth wheel, you do not need to check that the shutoff valves are completely closed, that there are no missing parts, that you cannot see any space between the upper and lower fifth wheels, whether it has enough grease. The correct answer is that the shut-off valves are completely closed. Question 24 To drive, how high do you need to raise the landing gear? All the way up. Part of the way up. Only slightly off the ground so that it will be easier to use later. Exactly 6 feet off the ground. The correct answer is All the way up. Thanks for watching.